Like, um, what's your government like? Uh, a government? It's a, I would go the worst government in the world by oh. a long shot. I would say our government is um, as far ahead in being the worst <laughs> uh, government in the world than Max Verstappen is at this stage the Formula One champion of the world. I mean, there's just nobody's going to compete with them. We are truly exceptionally <laughs> being a government. Welcome back to the Mr. Showtime Showcast. You just heard a uh, new, newly crowned welterweight or middleweight first African UFC champ, Dracos Duplessis, after he beat Sean Strickland, fair and square by the way, are you listening Tim, uh, Tim Pool and, uh, and Dana White? You Americans are so losers, aren't you? Can't even admit that, you know, the fight was fair and Drickus just happened to edge uh, Sean and, and he came up tops on the other side. Fair and square. I'm hearing some of these American podcasters talk about, oh, uh, Sean Strickland got robbed because of his political views and it's the woke mob. No, 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 no. Listen, folks. Lose like a champion, okay? We won. Drickers to PC won fair and square. Just wanted to get that out of the way. You just heard uh, at the beginning of this video, Drickers to PC by uh, being interviewed by uh, by a, a, a lovely hot piece of tail. It goes by the name of uh, Nina Drama on the different governments, South African governments and American governments and look this is what tends to happen in these um, with folks coming from these privileged countries such as first world South Africa and the United States Drickus Duplessis said that you know our government is by far the worst in the world Look, I'll say this, I understand the context of where he's coming from. I understand the context of where he's coming from, but riddle me this. And Brittany Griner, the WNBA female basketball player, ask her what she thinks of the, uh, the, Amer the American government after she was arrested in Russia. She was thrown in a Russian slammer after being caught with drugs and whatnot. Ask her what prison system she prefers, the Russian uh, prison system or the American prison system. Ask Brittany Rana what she thinks about that. Because beforehand, she too was also expunging some, oh, America's the worst in the country, it's oppressive. Yeah, up until you go over to the third world European countries, the communist countries, you get you, you you get hit with reality uh, 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 in the face, and then you realize how good you have it over there. Because look, the South African government is very also similar to the United States government. At least I'm talking about the setup, the constitution. We have free speech, freedom of speech. It's in our Bill of Human Rights. You don't get the Bill of, uh, of Rights in other countries, in most countries in the world. Uh, um, Drikas, Minier uh, Duplessis, read me this. As a matter of fact, no, do, do you realize that in a third world country, you would not be being, being able to say what you said without being thrown in jail? In, a com in any other com in, 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 in third world communist countries, you would not be able to criticize your own government without being thrown in jail in the slammer. Are you, ha have you been thrown in the slammer lately? I don't think so. It goes against our constitution if you were to be. ENCA put out a tweet in response to uh, Drikas Duplessis' controversial comments about 
as a government being the most corrupt in the world. And this is my first realization because look, I, I cover a lot of American politics. I'm very in tune with what's going on uh, up tops north over there in America. I follow, you know, the Republican, Democrats, left wing, right wing, all that, okay? I'm very in tune. This channel is largely based off of that. And I'm starting to realize this is my first example of South African media acting just like your fake news industries, your CNNs, your left wing mobs over there in America. Now kudos to Drickus Duplessis because I think he just opened Pandora's box or at least he exposed Pandora's box because prior my perceptions of South African media is just straight down the middle. Whether they were, you know, had the mental wherewithal or not, no, they weren't politically biased. But this is the very first example, my at least my first realization of corporate media acting like, you know, the fake news industry, like your CNNs, your MSNBCs over there in America. But this is what I appreciate about the, the UFC. Because, you know, in other sporting codes, other people are very restricted with what they can say on social media. And I don't know what it is about the UFC, but you have kudos to Dana, Dana White and Joe Rogan. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the sponsorships. They allow them to just go, you know, to town, to just go rampant. But uh, it is much needed. And we appreciate that. You know, we had Sean Strickland saying his controversial... It's actually, no, it's not controversial. Well, I say controversial in the general sense, in the in today's social economic cultural climate. It's not controversial if it's you know if it's facts, okay. But kudos to people like Sean Strickland and now we have Drickus Duplessis. They can say whatever without being cancelled. But coming back to his assertions about how our government is the most corrupt. He's not wrong. Uh, he's not totally accurate. But I understand the context of what he was saying. Because, like I said, we have the Bill of Human Rights, and I'm very proud of our constitutional setup. I understand what he's saying from a contextual point of view with regards to what's happening currently, and how our government is being ran. Because, you know, you, you have uh, Nina Drama over there. She herself, she's like, oh no, it's actually our government who's, that's the most corrupt. Because, you know, the, the, the Joe Biden, they had that sleeping, undead, fossil zombie that goes by the name of Slow Joe, Bi uh, Slow Joe Biden, who's busy, you know, flipping America upside down, breaking his oath to office. Uh, him and Kamala Harris sending money, taking taxpayer money, sending it over to Ukraine. The, 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 the mainstream woke fake news industry, the busy uh, 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 disseminating false information, false propaganda. And US, uh, the, the United States has been acting like the global police, sticking their nose in other countries' businesses, the Vietnam War. The 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 the, the debaucherous pullout out of uh, Afghanistan, the whole nine yards. So you have Nina saying, "No, it's actually our countries that's the worst in the world because you know they're they're the the most powerful country in the world and they've been doing all sorts of uh, committing all sorts of foul acts." And then you have Drickus Duplessis, who who I don't think he's very in tune with American politics, but I would say. Since America is more powerful, what they do is very vital. So, but look, I support the comments made by Drickus Duplessis. I'm on his side. What? You think I was just going to expunge some, going to run my mouth without circling back? So this is the part where people have been waiting for. Yes, 
South Africa's government is, I don't know about it, it being the most corrupt in the world, but it has been engaging in some foul behavior. This is why in 2024, we have the chance to take these people out of power for the very first time. If you, in my generation, you're born in 1994, we're gonna see a new party for the very first time. And I'm proud to be voting for the Democratic Alliance. I hope that John Steen Hazen is gonna be the, the next president of South Africa because my goodness, we need it. The Buddha farmers have been suffering for a little over a decade now with the farm killings. And it's time it comes to an end. It's time this, this, whole, this whole mind game this whole, uh, happening here in South Africa, it's time to put it to an end. How do we put it to an end? We do not waste our votes with these irrelevant small parties. We focus all our energy, all our parties, all our votes into the Democratic Alliance because they have the best chance in terms of numbers and support to dethrone the corrupt African National Congress. Folks, join us all together now, shoulder to shoulder, South Africa, are you, are you with us? The Democratic Alliance is to rescue South Africa, they are to save South Africa. 2024 is our last and only and best chance. If you've been watching this far, thank you so much for watching and remember, the Matrix has you. Don't fall for the PSYOPs. Thank you for watching, cheers.